new Lloyd this morning. Super excited. We are uh, Wednesday, so I usually do my check-in on Saturday, but sometime Duran's gonna ask me to do an additional check-in or just send my weight just to see if my weight um, keep moving through the week because we have no time to waste. Sex scene is gonna come fast. Um, but I just, I want to give like a background of how prep has been going. I didn't mention that. So I remember, um, checking what way I started prep because, so if you guys follow me on Instagram, well, first of all, <laughs> I'm all over the place. I just, I just woke up, but first of all, welcome back on YouTube. Um, welcome back or welcome to my prep series. So I was wanting to wait a little bit, um, just kind of like do the first couple weeks of prep just to get myself focused before starting this series. But something inside me told me yesterday, pick up the camera and start. So um, today's the day check in because I'm training legs today. I'm probably gonna have a high day depending on if he thinks I need one, but um, yeah, things are going well. Um, I if you if you follow me on Instagram, I posted in my story a couple of days ago, but I think it's so important to translate the message, and I hope that it's gonna trans translate um, the way I want because a lot of people get discouraged um, not having results and not seeing their body changing in the first couple of weeks. So just to give you guys an idea, and I'll put the photos like I did on Instagram. I started prep at 174. And I've been stuck in the 170 for weeks and weeks and weeks. My body barely, barely moving. Up until this, not, not the Saturday that just passed for me, but the Saturday before. So a week and a half ago. And this morning, my weight is at 166. Um, so, I believe that last Saturday, um, the Saturday before, a week and a half ago, my weight was at, I was still in the 170s. I think I was at 170, actually. Um, and the two days before, I was like at 171, 172. Since last Saturday, I've been stuck around the same weight. So, um, no refeed. I had one sheet. I started prep two weeks before Christmas. So this has been almost two months now. A month and a half. And my weight wasn't barely changing. And I was, I only had Christmas sheet. And other than that, diet, cardio every day. So you're like, okay, come on. <laughs> um, not up until a week and a half ago that my start, my weight started dropping. And since then, I'm, I, I've been dropping like almost a pound every day. So just to show you guys that like sometime it takes a little bit of time for your body to like respond. But once you like get to that point, your body's really gonna respond. But it is consistency, it's not giving up on yourself. Um, the only way you're gonna succeed if you don't give up. If, if you give up, that's the only way you're gonna fail. So. It's my little pep talk for this morning. Um, but yeah, prep is going well. I'm excited. Um, things are starting to move. I am going to get ready to go for cardio. I'm gonna mix my morning drink and I'm gonna talk to you guys later. We'll see if we have a high day. And yeah, happy. 16 weeks out. We got a high day, we got a high day. So, uh, I had my breakfast already. 50 gram of cream of rice. I was literally sweating by the end of it, or even at the middle of it, it was so hot. Um, but I'm gonna go get some groceries right now. I got my chicken. 
from Trap Shop. I only get my chicken because my two source of protein right now is white fish and chicken. Um, and he's giving me orange roughy, which is a leaner white fish. And I usually get basa from Prep Shop, but I've been buying orange roughy and doing it in the air fryer. And I'm very picky with my white fish, so I found a way I really love it. So if you guys have white fish and hate it, ate that like taste um, like fishy fish, um, I will show you guys later in this video how do I cook mine. I've been loving it doesn't taste fishy at all um, so I'll show you guys that but um, for now I'm just gonna go get some grocery really quick and get ready to go home to cook my perkamia because we have a busy day so Just come back from the grocery store, first of all. If you're in the GTA or you have Fratinos around, please do not sleep on their coffee. The churros that they have right now is literally the best flavored coffee I've ever had. Uh, but that's beside the point. So uh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna eat in about 45 minutes. I have a treatment at 12:45. Um, with Ben, which I'm gonna bring you guys in with me, and then I'm training. Um, I'm gonna be filming my leg workout, but it's gonna be on another um, video, so another YouTube video. And the reason why is because I didn't really have a plan for today's um, video, but I kind of wanted that first prep series video being about kind of like um, tips of like what helped me getting where I am uh, right now. This season, um, first third week of 2024, um, kind of like a little bit, bit of a pep talk, so if you don't care, <laughs> skip over. Um, but I just wanted to kind of start with an idea of like, where did I get where I am? So if you guys can like follow me for a little bit and follow me last year and I posted a couple of videos and I, I've been really transparent on Instagram as well with where I was, how I was feeling mentally. Um, I didn't end up competing at all. I took the year for myself, for my health, for my mental health. Um, we always think we're like, go, go, go. And like, we, we're like robots, right? Because part of bodybuilding is really being a robot pretty much. And for me, in my head, I was like, I'm never gonna need a full year of season. I'm never gonna need that. Like I was thinking, I was talking more like physical wise because I luckily improve a lot in prep and grow in prep. So for me, it's like longevity. I'll be good in, very good in five years, but I don't need a full year of season for me to grow. And end up, I do needed it, uh, not, men uh, not physically, but mentally. Um, my hormone was kind of like all over the place and I didn't want to have to like um, do both at the same time. Try to fix my hormone at the same time of competing. Uh, I wanted to have a clearer mind um, when I wanted to like compete again. So I didn't take, I didn't think it would be deep down for so long, for like a whole year, but it's been a very long year. It's been a very eye-opening year, like helping year in a way of like expectation I have now of myself and also where I want to be this year and how mentally I want to bring myself. So I'm trying to like not like go on for so long because I could, but um, last year was a really like learning curve and it was also something for me that told me one one of the tips if you need rest take the rest um i'm not saying oh you're just a little bit tired we always get tired um but if you're at a point that you're like you're not able to like move forward um and like every day you're like draining take the rest you need if you know mentally you need it Everything that you want to work towards always going to be there, but if you don't rest, you're not going to be able to like grow or like grow the way you want. So 
the rest helped me so much this year since I started prep I'm like very very fo focused I'm like excited to like um wake up doing cardio I'm like pushing myself every day I'm excited to like um to like have hard days like which is super weird to say but last year I didn't want to I didn't want to like I didn't want to wake up to do cardio I didn't want to do anything of that and in prep um this is a turning point when you're like okay like I want to suffer like I'm ready to suffer I'm ready to push more and I was trying to get there and I couldn't I just I couldn't be bothered this year I'm like okay like I was looking at like videos of me like lean and like remembering those that when you like get up and you're like so tired but you're like ready to push and to suffer and like that's where I am right now so like and last year you could have asked me like oh are you excited to prep are you excited for next year like i didn't even know if i could, would be able like mentally to be there um this year like to be back there i'm like what if it's gone forever what if i like i'm not passionate anymore what if i'm just i can't push myself there anymore and i am so uh it just takes time uh, be gentle with yourself take the rest if you need it um i kind of started a new journey um this year like about like a week and a half ago i've read a lot um listened to a lot of podcasts i don't want to i don't want to tell you guys what it is i kind of want to i share a lot here and i kind of want to keep that thing to myself um and maybe at some point i'll be ready to like share it with you guys um hopefully but for now i just want to focus and like do this thing for myself and not for like social media but I was listening to podcasts and there was like so many like interesting that um, it was said and it's something I've like I'm very big on um, practice what, what you preach so I've been doing it I've been trying to like think and like do it myself but pretty much what it was saying and like if you guys are willing to do it just take a paper and try to like do that but if you're in a place that you're like I do not know where I'm going I don't know what I'm good at like what I'm good at and I was at that place and I'm still at that place that I'm like okay what is what what is like my future what is I'm really good at yes I'm a trainer I'm a, like posing coach but I know I can grow so much more I can learn so much more but also, I also know within myself that I can be somewhere so much bigger and higher um, but I need to like find those things that I'm good at and train them like getting them better and better and work on them so um, I want to get to a place I'm like really like sitting down like reading a lot like getting myself better in a place that I have never done before um, so the idea they were saying is and sorry if it's taking so long but the idea that they were saying is like you have everyone has um, strength everyone has things that they're good at even if you think you have nothing you're good at everyone has things you're good at it either comes naturally which is um, I don't know for me I'm like I'm a giver easily like I'm like caring and a giver I always give to people before me I'm always gonna care for like my close people I'm always care for people um, it comes naturally to me so that's the strength that I have that I, but we usually have those trains or like those things we're good at and we just stay blah with it we don't really do anything because it's like why should I try to get better at it I'm already good at it but those trains you can always get them better and better so it's kind of the idea of like finding your strain and trying this theory to like get really 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 good at it okay I'm good at bodybuilding can I get better at it for sure I'm good at um, YouTube can I get better at it 100% so it's just like getting your strength stronger so um, the other one was if you're like having a hard time kind of like knowing what you're good at you're like what am I good at I don't even know um, the other thing that they were saying is it's something that can be named so these are things that loved one or friends can tell you so like someone can like tell you oh you're a really good um, teacher so can get better at it you're a really good um, like 
you're, you're really good at making jokes try to like get better at it I, like i'm just trying to like explain it the best i can because i'm all again i'm learning um and the um, the third one said is nurture so it's something that you have within yourself but you see other people doing better that you think that you're not as good at but it's something that like for yourself you would just put a bit of effort and you would you could be really, really good at it so like just think of it as like someone who has a really good shape from um the gecko but they just like train for fun and stuff but they, if they would really put effort into it and learn and push themselves to be better at it they could be one of the top bodybuilders and that's just one of, of like one of the idea but so do that little exercise try to find your strength uh given like those points i'm gonna try to like put it there so you guys can kind of like go off of that um but i thought it was really interesting because it's true like a lot of time we're like okay like what am i good at like how how am i supposed to know what i'm good at when you think you're like you're really good at nothing um and there's so much thing like for me like i'm a giver i'm patient i'm like a fast learner um i don't know like i'm again i say it's easy for me but it took me hours to find those things i'm trying to like every time i do something i'm trying to like think of like okay what i'm good at like naturally or like so little activity for you guys but it's kind of where i wanted to like start off i really been kind of like spending a lot of time on my desk like reading do a lot of research like writing stuff um and just getting better at like really trying to like dig deep this year um instead of just like go with my day and be like yeah okay i'll do that just like i really want to put effort into everything i do um so yeah i think i thought it was interesting there's so much more i, I would want to like share but i'm gonna try to make this very quick um but a couple other things that i've been doing this year uh I'm, i know it's it's early it's still but um I've been getting into reading and again I'm not saying you have to start reading I'm just saying but find things that you know you can stick with try to like do things that you know you're like you're not gonna give up you're you're gonna keep doing so um, I started yoga uh, I don't know maybe a couple 20 end of 2022 but it was always like oh I went one week and then I hated it hot yoga I hated it I hate the hot to a point I'm like sweating, suffocating. And this year, um, I started going twice a twice a twice a week on my rest days, and I'm learning to love it. I'm now I'm excited to go because I know, and I I've practiced it in a, like to a point that like now when I go, I'm able to like relax. I'm able to like get into my mind um, and really like calm myself and like just focus on myself and like forgetting about all the other people in the room um so and it's good for stretching i know it's gonna bring me a lot into bodybuilding um so stretching and like doing yoga has been something i like put it in that like it's on my weekly things to do um reading closing my phone like my biggest thing i think this year is trying to spend as less time on social social media that i can um I'm gonna focus on like YouTube, I'm gonna focus on, obviously I'm still gonna post, I'm gonna reply to you guys, but in the other time, instead of like scrolling down, I really wanna do other things that's bringing me more. I wanna spend time from away from social media um, that doesn't serve me. So like, I would now have been like picking up reading and I'm actually like making a habit of it. Like every day I read, I'm loving it, but it was for me to find books that actually enjoy reading i was trying to always get books about um mindset and like how to like do your schedule and like how to like become rich blah blah all those like mindset and i just found it's not for me i would rather listen to podcasts but when i'm reading and i never thought i would love uh fantasy and like those kind of books with like dragons and stuff and I, i'm i'm loving it i'm a i'm a O, o plus romantic whatever you call it so everything that has like romance in it and like fantasy i'm like oh <laughs> like dreaming but it's kind of my little getaway now so um i've been stepping away from social media and like tv um even especially an hour before bed so just little things like that but 
do those things like they're gonna bring you so much if you start doing them now um and i want to talk because last year i didn't do any of those things i started to do a little bit like of dance things like that that would take my mind off of thing but never like put myself like okay let's do that and this year what i started to do this year is something i always wanted to do but never push myself to actually uh stick up with it so it's not always easy. I'm not saying like, oh, I just decided to do that in January and like, okay, it's falling up, like it's falling in place. It's like, no, um, I had never, would never in a million year would have done those things and read those books I'm reading today. And like the thing I, I started for myself in January, like, n I don't think I was mentally in a place to like do those things last year. And this year, it just, it's a blessing for me. So find what you want to stick with one thing start with one thing and go from there um but yeah i think it's enough of renting for me right now because i've been talking for like five minutes straight but uh if you can like love hearing kind of like my perspective or like idea of like me how i what i'm doing this year and like what i'm implementing in my routine every day i'm happy to like bring you more along um i promise i will i will share what i'm currently like starting with right now like maybe in a couple of months when i'll be ready but um yeah i just i just yeah i i want to share as much as i can not just training wise and like really more like every step of the way of what i'm doing so okay i need to stop talking now but um i'm gonna go cook my perka meal all the potatoes i've been loving potatoes in the air fryer over rice right now uh which i never really care for potatoes but in the air fryer i don't know why i've never bought an air fryer before but but change my life so i'm gonna go cook that and i will run to the gym for my treatment oh my god this is a beauty so we got 270 gram of raw potatoes with prep shop chicken and some lettuce, some flavor gang sauce, and I topped it with peanut butter. And then had two scoop of baito with it. Always have um, glycol in my hide just to help me with absorb it, absorbing the carbs, pushing into my muscle, um, also helping with digestion. So always do that 20 minutes prior. Um, I'm gonna enjoy that because this looks phenomenal. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just give me on my phone. It's really? My guy. Okay, I'm gonna send you something though. Okay. Okay. So it's okay, called the Arsenal we'll with that. Arsenal. Okay, so what it does is it plugs into your phone and it uses AI to do all of your presets. Oh no so way! You set it up in the gym. Apparently, it's really good for um, like landscape stuff. I don't know if it would be good at the gym, but it looks really cool. I'll try it I don't out. have a fancy camera, so. Okay, I'll try it out. Back from the gym. Super tired. Um, it's about five, I just ate. And I'm gonna cook now my fish. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I have been doing mine. So I got those, that's the orange trophy I was talking to you guys about. So I got the, those at Fortino's or sometime I'll find it in other, um, grocery store like Merlou's or like so they usually come frozen uh, even at the other grocery store but you can cook them from frozen or you can cook, cook them from um, unfrozen depending on it's just gonna be a little bit longer if you cook them from um, frozen but so I'm gonna take the boat of my hair fryer I have the ninja I love I love this one And I'm going to, ugh, I hate fish when it's not frozen. That's why sometimes I'll try to cook it from frozen. Ooh, I love it. The touch of it. There you go. So 
So I'm gonna cook them in a small, in small little cubes. I tried to cook, to just like hair fry them like that. Um, but what it would do, it would just like get the outside crunchy um, and the inside was still like smooshy, which I hate that. I hate the like, the texture of like a smooshy fish that's like very fishy. So, I'm gonna cook them, cut them all in little cubes. All right, so this should be how it looks like. I'm trying not to put too much on uh, in each uh, container, just so it's not too like overpacked. Uh, but I'm gonna put this spices on it. You can put anything you want. In prep, I love to put spices that are more like natural, kind of like just herbs and stuff. Sometimes I don't even even put any because it cooked just so well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of that on top. There you go, that should be enough. And I will just let them cook on hair fry for 30 minutes. Um, I don't like to put more than that because sometimes, a couple of times I burn them. So I'll put 30. And once the 30 is done, I'll just come look at them. This is how I like it. Am I gonna put it for another like couple minutes? But it's been 34 minutes now. And this is how I like it. Like you can see, it's like a little bit crispy. This is kind of like how it looks like. This is fantastic. So I'm gonna put it in Tupperware. I'm eating in about an hour, so I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm a weirdo, I love my fish cold. Um, because it, it also tastes even less fishy when it's cold. Um, this meal is usually with hmm. This meal is usually um, With avocado, so I usually just mix it. I used to have rice. Uh, you removed it. So I just do fish um, lettuce avocado and some uh, flavor gang sauce. That's kind of just my meal. Tonight I'm gonna have sourdough because it's my high day. I love sourdough bread, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna have fish with sourdough bread. So uh, no avocado. So when I have a high day, sometimes you remove a bit of uh, my fats. So I'm just gonna mix it with lettuce and sauce um, and cook the sourdough on the side, so yay. Beauty. So this is how I like my fish. If you guys um, doesn't like fish uh, in prep, try it out that way. Uh, obviously you need an air fryer, but seriously I've been so crazy not to have an air fryer all these days, um, years I mean. So if you try it, let me know if you like it. It's the only way I ate fish uh, pretty much. So. Right, so it's about 7.30. Um, finished everything that I had to do. Um, I just ate my fourth meal. So I have one meal left, but I'm just gonna relax now, sit in my boots. So these are the boots that I was talking about. Um, you zip them on both legs, and then you have this, that makes the pressure. Um, so I'm just gonna sit down on them for about an hour, just relaxing. Um, we're just gonna relax for the rest of the night. You guys, I mean a lot of you guys, I'm talking like I've been a reader for like years <laughs> but uh, I know some of you guys have been uh, tr like starting reading it for like people I know that um, are like reading a bit more but this is a book I've been reading uh, I'm at the third one so I, I actually bought collection sorry I already read um, those two, the two one, the two first one, this is the third one. Uh, I've been loving it so far. So, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. I have been, um, reading those as well. The first one is Four Twings, Iron Flame. It's probably my, my favorite, uh, book I've read so far. So, um, yeah, 
Very good book. I'm such a nerd and a book person now. But it's been a very, very good, like, change for me. And, like, just a good thing to, like, incorporate. But, yeah. Just gonna finish tonight uh, reading, eating my last meal, and going off to bed. Uh, but, yeah, this kind of... It was a lot of talking, I know, but um, I kind of feel like refreshed, I kind of feel in place, um, and I have like that vision, so I hope that th this video will kind of help you guys a bit of like knowing where you guys are going this year and like kind of starting off with a very good uh, mindset and a good place. I'm super excited to bring you guys into this prep, uh, it's going to be a very, very fun year. Um, so yeah, I will close that off here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video while me and Cody is going to be crushing legs. So, see ya.